Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, today we're down at the Georgia Museum of Agriculture in Tifton, Georgia, and we're actually, I'm starting this video at the end, but I'm gonna fill you in on the day that we had out here today, kind of show you what all went on. So we had a little work day. Uh, we sent out an invite via video a while back, and we got a crew. Uh, I think we had nine people actually show up. We had a few guys that were supposed to come, but some things uh, happened, and they weren't able to make it kind of at the last minute, which is fine. Uh, it turned out we had plenty of people here to help. But our project for the day was a steam engine. This is a Frick. Uh, about 110 horsepower steam engine that belongs to the museum. Used to run our cotton gin out here at the museum. Uh, long story, the boiler got condemned. We ended up replacing uh, a different, a newer boiler and uh, a, a different steam engine uh, to get the, the cotton gin back up and going. It's actually an older engine, but we had a, a new boiler built. This engine here, when we used to run the cotton gin, it was really bigger than it needed to be for our, our engine, but back in the 1970s when they were putting that exhibit together, this was the engine that they could find at the time, and they used it for many, many years. Uh, when we had to replace the boiler, we decided to downsize it a little bit to get something a little bit more appropriate for the size that we were actually running and save on fuel, save on maintenance costs, etc. But we had the boiler and steam engine, and what we've been doing here is we're doing a cosmetic restoration on this engine as well as the boiler. And we're going to put it on exhibit so it can still be seen and appreciated out here at the museum. Uh, the project for today was just to get this engine all cleaned up and get it ready for paint. And we accomplished that. Our team came in here and we were like a little army of, of little army ants all working around this thing at one time. Everybody was had angle grinders and needle scalers and what have you, and everybody worked together, and basically we got this thing stripped of all the rust, all the old paint that was on it, and uh, got it ready for, uh, for the first coat of primer. And that's what we put on here today, it's just a primer coat. So everybody pitched in, like I said, it was uh, kind of busy. People were in fairly tight quarters. Uh, our original plan was we were gonna let about half the guys work at a time, the other half go see the museum. Mother Nature did not cooperate with us. It's been a very wet, stormy day. We've been kind of up underneath the shelter, but the, it, it was such a bad weather today that they actually closed the museum. So we had everybody in here at one time working on it. The good news is, is that we basically were completely done with this project by lunchtime. We started at eight o'clock in the morning. We got it cleaned up completely is our, and then we came in here we took mineral spirits wiped it all down we cleaned up the area to get the dust out of here uh, once we did that we came in here with the paint brushes and we just put a red primer on here this is a good high quality primer that's on here brushed it on and uh got this done like i said we're we're it's it's lunchtime and we're done we got this thing done so it was a big job but lots of people pitched in lots of people working together and uh, we got this thing knocked out and done fairly quickly. Uh, big thank you to all the guys that came out today to help on this project. Uh, I'm gonna cut over. I got a little clip of each one of them, let them introduce themselves to you, tell them where they came from, and a little bit about their day out here at the museum. So let's, uh, let's go and let our volunteers that came in, uh, let them be seen. Some got wet out here. Got a big storm front coming through, and it'll probably be raining hard the rest of the day. <laughs> this old engine's a chameleon. She's changing colors over here. We're getting the red primer on it. Again, this won't be the final color. We're just uh, getting the primer coat on it right now to protect it. And uh, with this rain that's coming in, we really don't want to be doing the final painting right now anyway. But. He's uh, coming along, looking good. So I'm gonna go through and kind of introduce our volunteer crew that came out today. These are the guys that came in. So tell us your name or make one up and tell us where you're from. <laughs> uh, this is Steve and Kathy Hannes. We came up from Clearwater, Florida and feel very fortunate to have this opportunity to get involved in this. Um, it's been a blast all day long. Everybody's been happy and cooperating with one another. And it's really good to move this stuff along for the museum. And we appreciate Keith's hospitality. And anything in the future comes up, we'll be back. There you go. Well, thank you for coming. Right. I appreciate it. 
I'm John Wimmer. I'm from Navarre, Florida. Drove up yesterday to help out with the uh, steam engine. Been watching your videos for a lot of years, man. And I'm uh, glad to be able to help out. Great. Well, I yep. appreciate you coming. Uh, we made a lot of progress today, so thanks for your help. You got it. You All got right. it. Thanks for having me. Thank you. My name is uh, David Keeper. I'm from Atlanta and uh, always been a big fan and uh, always loved steam engines. When I was a kid, I grew up in uh, Detroit and used to go to Henry Ford Museum a lot. Oh, wow, yeah. See the steam engines they had there. And I uh, lived in Canada for a while. Used to go see steam engines with my dad a lot. So just thought I'd avail myself of the opportunity to Great. do some work here today. Well, I appreciate it. You guys worked hard. We got this thing knocked out pretty quick, so I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. Thanks. Thanks, thanks for coming. Thank you. All right. My name's Kurt Johnson. I'm from Huntsville, Alabama. And it was a pleasure to come up here and meet Keith and the rest of the guys and work on the engine. And you got good and dirty. I got good and dirty. <laughs> it's always fun. We it's, appreciate you it'll coming. It'll wash off. It'll wash off. There you go. Thanks for coming and helping. Absolutely. Happy to do it. Thanks. Name's Philip Lanier from Loganville, Georgia. Uh, I've enjoyed watching Keith's videos for quite a while now and figured that since he was asking for volunteers, I got so much from him, might as well give back when I can. And it's been a pleasure to come down here and work with all these gentlemen. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Thank Thanks you, for sir. coming. I'm Jeff Clow from Holly Springs, Georgia, and just wanted to help out on the project. Uh, I think it's my third third trip down here work, uh, working on a project with the museum, and uh, had fun, got filthy. And, uh, what else can you ask for? There you go. There you go. And this is, I think, we've had two other times we've done projects down here over the years. One of them, long before I ever started doing videos, I've known Jeff for quite a few years, and he's always been available to come down here and help us. So, greatly appreciate it, Jeff. It's fun. Thank you, sir. Yep. Um, I'm Stan Cloyd. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> I drove here in about uh, four days and three nights, because I'm slow. <laughs> but uh, <coughs> we drove the electric vehicle and charged it up all the way here, <coughs> and we'll continue to on the way out. Great. <coughs> Well, you definitely win the prize for coming the farthest, so uh, all the way from Arizona. We appreciate that very much. Well, it's it's a heck of a drive, I tell you. Well, good. We're glad you came and glad you pitched in and gave us a hand. And there you go. This is the end result. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Uh, like I said, this is just a primer coat. We're going to come in here and paint this. We've actually got documentation from uh, that was actually acquired many years ago. There used to be, and may still be, a Frick Engine Club, and we had in our records where we had contacted these guys back in the 1970s, and uh, one of them gave us a, uh, a mix on how to make the proper paint color that this would have been from the factory. And um, I, I, in a later video, once we get it painted, I'll show you, but it's kind of a maroonish, almost purplish color was what the majority of the engine would have been painted as. And uh, like I said, we actually got a recipe on how to mix that up. And we'll be doing that coming up. We're going to let this primer uh, cure a little bit. Uh, it's, it's like I've said before, pouring down rain all day today, a lot of high humidity, not probably the best day to be painting. So we're going to make sure that this primer has a chance uh, to get cured out. And then we'll come back and, and do the painting on it a little bit later. From there, uh, we'll get the engine mounted back up on the boiler. We got to get the original wheels back on the boiler. And uh, this is going to be put on exhibit here kind of out in the entrance to the museum. We, the uh, museum has built a shelter. Uh, and it's going to be sitting outside, but under shelter. And it's going to be kind of right out by the country store in the main entrance to the museum. It will be a, a nice little centerpiece up in the front as people come into the museum and see a lot of the stuff we do here. Uh, I know I've had a lot of comments, people wishing that we would get this, this uh, engine back up and running and working again. Uh, the engine, if we were to put steam on it, it would run perfectly right now. In fact, we can turn it over and everything else. There's nothing wrong with this engine. Uh, we've been really careful throughout the process to make sure that we're preserving it so that if down the road uh, we ever did want to put it back in operation, that would definitely be an option. Unfortunately, the boiler has been condemned, so the original boiler, uh, at least for this museum, it's not going to be possible to run that one we would have to have a new boiler built. Um, in, a, 
and a lot of that has to do with insurance purposes and so forth like that. The boiler could probably safely be run, but uh, not in the, this particular setting because of laws and rules that we have to deal with because this is a state-owned museum. And anyway, that's just the reality of where we're at and we're making the best of the situation and at least getting this engine where it can be seen and, and viewed. This is a rather large Frick uh, engine, one of the larger sizes, that, in fact, may have been the largest size uh, engine that Frick made and uh, there wasn't a whole lot from this size. So it is a fairly, uh, uh, non, not a very commonly seen uh, engine setup. So we do want to make it, we want to preserve it where people can look at it, enjoy it and view it down the road. Uh, but anyway, that's a little bit about our day. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. A little quick video, but uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, didn't get too wet. Fortunately, we were up underneath the shelter, but it, the weather has not been the greatest today. Uh, but with that, that is going to be a wrap. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like I always say, those thumbs up and comments are appreciated. Hit the bell icon for notifications of other videos. We'll be doing more follow-up videos on this project uh, once we get things uh, get it set up when, and out where people can come look at it and view it. We'll get you a final view of that all that when that's done. And with that, we'll catch you on the next video. As, again, thanks for watching.